Okay, well, hey, how's everybody doing today? I don't really do a video of this nature very often, but something, uh, something, something was bothering me. Something, something came up that that struck me as something I really needed to talk about. And uh, you know, if you follow me for very long, you know that I, I'm pretty psyched about cross posting to Etsy and Mercari right now using List Perfectly, and. You know, and I've found very little to not sing the praises of. There are, there are, you know, things, there's, you know, glitches and little things that could be worked out. But, you know, you have all that when you're dealing with, you know, computers. And it's always been that way, you know. I mean, I mean, eBay is the place to be glitched. If you're going to get glitched, it's on eBay, you know. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, is that... A few years back, this lady came into my antique shop that I had, and she was from my hometown, you know, and so she's telling me, you know, she's buying all this stuff from the dealers, you know, stuff that, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's stuff I was, you know, not really, you know, I see it, the prices are what they are, and I'm thinking, you know, is she a reseller or what? So we got to talking, and yeah, she, she actually was, she's actually was, uh, she's she was a cancer survivor and and well and, and it had come back and so she was struggling with it and you could tell she had a lot of health problems and she was in her 70s i'm thinking but um and she's still she's still going i still i, I still watch her uh her, e her etsy shop she doesn't sell on ebay she sells on etsy so she is a reseller and she actually showed me a picture when i was talking to her of the boxes that she'd had to take to the post office that morning for a one day of sales on Etsy at the time. She had like 27 boxes, if I remember right, of stuff she'd sold on Etsy. All of it was under $20. It was all, basically she said that, you know, that was her bread and butter between $10 and $20. Not that she didn't sell more, but, and that really got me intrigued. I mean, at the time, I really got intrigued. So I, I went and I opened a, opened an Etsy account. And I listed a few things on there. I think maybe five, six, seven things, you know. It's killing me paying that 20 cents every three months for listings, you know. That was just horrible because at the time, you know, eBay was giving us, you know, free listings. So, hey, you know, free is free and 20 cents, well, that's that's too much, you know. But anyway, I did end up selling a few of the items for as little as I had posted. It was, I think I sold maybe like three out of six or three out of seven, something like that. Well, it wasn't a lot, but... You know, it was stuff that that had I that I listed that was in the booth in my booth at the at the shop. So it's not like it hadn't been seen before. And it was stuff that I, if it was in the booth at the shop, it was probably because it wasn't going to sell on eBay. You know what I mean? My booth anyway. Or some things, you know, it's some things you can you can sell in an antique shop for more than you can sell on eBay. Imagine that. So anyway. This, you know, this lady was telling me about that, and I got pretty excited about it. So I tried it out, and you know, but I didn't really, I didn't get motivated to really, to really, to really do Etsy, you know. And then along came Mercari a, a while later, and I tried that out, and I did all right with that. I still, I listed a few things on there, and you know, sold a few things, but I didn't do any cross posting. Everything that was on, you know, Etsy or or Mercari was all just Etsy and Mer or Mercari. So you know. Then uh, this thing came along with List Perfectly, you know, last year, and you know I bit the bullet last last December, and I started, you know, I paid for the I paid for the the big the, the big thing, the pro plan or whatever. So, you know, and I started cross posting stuff to Mercari like crazy, because I wanted to get it all in as fast as possible, you know, and amazingly stuff that had been sitting on ebay for years years was selling on on mercari it was just selling it had sat on on ebay for, and wasn't selling and the same thing with etsy when i finally started after you know after i didn't get i didn't really get started on etsy cross posting to etsy until i think it was like may may or june or something like that when i, I finally got through all of the or car stuff so i started you know cross posting all in the meantime i was i was cross i was posting to to ebay but the new items that i was putting on ebay were not going to the other sites they were just just ebay 
So amazingly, I mean, I was selling a lot of stuff on, on Mercari and Etsy that had sat on eBay for years and, you know, and, and didn't, and didn't sell. Well, you know, and then after listening to, um, my boring reseller life here on YouTube and, you know, his, his take on, on, uh, kind of why your stuff isn't selling, you know, because people can't see it for various reasons, you know, uh, people can't see it. You're whatever it is, you know, it could be stale inventory, old inventory, you know, or it could be you're not properly priced in the range that eBay thinks it could be, or maybe you're not paying for promotions or you're not paying for this. Or you're not paying for that. You're not paying eBay more money to sell the stuff that you're listing on there. So they're not showing it. So eBay is king. I mean, other than, you know, Amazon, I mean, eBay's, you know, like the, the, the number one site, but it's, it's not the only site. It's not, it's not the only site. Etsy is really good for vintage, old vintage items. That's kind of their specialty. They do a lot of, they do crafts and all that stuff too, but old vintage items is the specialty. What should, shouldn't be eBay sellers that are selling one of a kind one off not you don't find these vintage items too much anymore kind of stuff be selling on Etsy you you'd think you know you'd think and I really I find myself beating myself up for things I I, I should have done that didn't do you, you don't know what I mean right you, you don't have that problem at all do you um things that I, that that I I should have done I knew I should have done didn't do it so, you know, I, I tend to beat myself up for that a little bit, but not, not, not too bad. But I just imagine what could have been had I, you know, like when that lady was telling me about Etsy, if I'd have gotten fired up about it and got it done then, and I knew about this perfectly, or I knew about something along those lines, you know, there, there was, I'm sure there was something out there that I could have used as a tool to cross post much faster than trying to just do it one at a time, you know, all over again. You know, so, uh, and this video is not to, not to toot Liz Perfectly's horn, but at the same time, I am tooting Liz Perfectly's horn because it, it has been such an invaluable tool for me to make a lot more money, especially considering how much my sales on eBay have collapsed, you know, compared to the, to those other to those other sites you you watch my shipping videos so you know that a lot of times it's one ebay sale or two ebay sales and five six seven eight or etsy sales and then two or three mercari sales is typically the way it is you know so my ebay sales are way 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 down if i wasn't cross posting i'd be in trouble i would be in big trouble um, this is one of the reasons why I've decided to go ahead and, and get a, and get a regular job in addition to, I, I've been, I've been retired. I've been selling on eBay since, you know, what, my late twenties or something like that, you know? Um, and you know, I kind of got into basically just for the most part, just doing eBay, you know, I got out of it for a little bit, but I always came back and, and you know, the whole thing was, you know, I got to spend all my all my kids lives all the time their whole time growing up I got to spend with them you know what I mean not many people get to do that but you know now it's time to, to go to work especially if eBay is gonna pull this stuff you know but with cross posting it's it's made it endurable um, I could get through it so as I'm listening to this guy today talking about cross posting and saying how yeah eh, eh, you don't really need to and this guy's huge I mean massive huge massive youtuber and he's poo-pooing cross-posting. He's poo-pooing it to people. Well, unless you have... Unless you have, like, multiples of one item, there's really no point in doing it. Well, there's a huge point in doing it. The huge point in doing it is, is one, if you get kicked off of eBay, you're done. You, you're, you're, you're done. You know what I mean? If, if that's all you're doing is... If, if you're a one-trick pony, if that's it, if all your eggs are in one basket, you're done when eBay flushes you. You know, and it could happen to anybody at any time for various reasons. So, I mean, this is not something that that 
that sh- this guy. The, I mean, I I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing him saying is that I was he that he was poo pooing cross posting to these other sites, especially now since I'm when I'm so excited about it. You know, that's horrible. You know, maybe you know in the past if he'd have said that, I'd have been like, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna cross post. Yeah, I'm not gonna cross post. It's a waste of my time. And that's exactly the point I'm trying to get across here. Is is how many. This guy could really be discouraged a lot of people who could be cross-posting from the get-go, from the start. You know, they could be brand new sellers and they could be using, you know, if they're brand new sellers and they're, I know there's a lot, there's a lot when it comes to reselling when you're brand new, when you're just getting started to learn. But you know what? If you were to start, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but if you were to start by using list perfectly or or some somebody else that had that kind of a thing and you learn to design your listings in that in that and then post post them out to the other ones and you learn it all at one time i mean one of the things with me going to mercari and etsy was having to learn a new a different system you know a different way of doing it can pick and you know being being an old gen x or you know i'm like most of us now we're we're old and we're we're like old people we don't we don't want to change we don't want to do different things differently you know we're no, nothing different you know the same way it's always been works great for me you know but 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 young people or people just getting out started out on some usually don't have that problem they 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 adjust, they move really quickly they adapt very quickly you know even even an old gen xer or even, you know maybe even a maybe even a boomer maybe even a boomer could you know could could adjust quickly if if they were just getting started on something and they didn't know no better you see what i'm saying so to be poo-pooing something that could that could increase people's sales much quicker it seems like a bad idea it you know it just seems like a bad idea so you know not that you know and granted i mean i'm just a little guy when it comes to i mean i've been selling on on eBay since 99 so what I got 20 23 years in now you know but at the same time I'm not a huge I'm not a huge I don't do huge volume you know I I I I I never really made it that kind of a real business not like the rock star or not like you know uh rally roots or somebody like that when you see it. those guys are way 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 out of my league you know what I'm mean? even uh uh, you know, I mean, Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker, and even Harry Twenty, out of my league. Uh, you know, just just out of my league. But I can't see any of those people telling you not to cross post, telling you that it's a waste of time, that you shouldn't shouldn't bother with it. Especially with the way eBay's algorithm has been working for many people, and and a lot of people aren't getting their stuff seen. You know, a lot of people aren't making sales. You know, you can look it up, and the sold comps show that it's sold for, you know, 20 bucks, and you put it up for 15 and you still don't sell it. Why not? You're the, you you got, you got free shipping, you, you know, you're the lowest one listed, and nobody sees your item. Or, or at least it seems like nobody, nobody must see it, because those same things are still selling, only they're selling for more. Why is that? Because the algorithm isn't picking you. You're not making the sale because the algorithm isn't picking you. And then your stuff gets old and then it gets stale and then you have to end it and you have to relist it only you have to do sell similar. You have to do sell similar because that way you get a new thing and it looks like a new a new thing to the whole algorithm and everything like that. So you got to make sure you sell similar. And then, of course, when you sell similar, then it, what ends up happening is you end up relisting it somewhere along the lines and then you sell it and then you sell it again and that really messes you up <laughs> so yeah you don't want to do that but yeah that's you know that's you know that's the thing i mean that's an awful lot of work for somebody to have to end their item after 30 days and, and relist it or, or as as a sell similar item when they could have listed it on multiple platforms and sold it on one of them within 30 days most likely you know if stuff is long tail it's long tail but like i said i had stuff listed on ebay for years years and i had done i had done the end end them all and 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 go back through and, and sell and do the sell similar on them and all that stuff and it didn't help 
it didn't it didn't increase my sales so well, maybe I could have dropped sales maybe I could have put free shipping on it maybe I could have done a lot of things you know but it didn't increase sales for me now other people okay that might work what I do know is putting it on other platforms that are showing my stuff that worked so the idea that we would poo poo cross listing at a time when eBay's clearly been messing with, you know, clearly been messing with the platform in a way that's made it more harder and harder and harder for a lot of sellers to to make sales. You know, it, you know, we know that they cater to larger sellers. We know that they cater to, you know, I, it, I mean, it, it's really simple. I mean, if you have an anchor store your stuff's going to get seen better than somebody who has a basic store and no no store. That's just just how it is. Cuz why? Cuz they're paying for it. They're paying for better sales. Somebody that's somebody that's that's promoting your items at 20 or 25 or 30%, they're going to make more sales than the guy that's not promoting at all or the guy that's promoting at 5%. You know they're going to make more sales and how about don't promote it all and put it all? Of course, you know, on Etsy, you can do the, they have the promotion thing kind of too. You know, you can do some advertising or whatever. Or they'll do it and they'll charge you or whatever. So yeah, there's things there too. But, you know, Mercari is another one. And, and I hear, and I don't do a lot of clothing and I'm not into the 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 younger, fa I'm not into fashions at all. But, you know, obviously, you know, but if you are and, you know, you're a new seller and you're, you're, you're you know, younger and you're not selling on Poshmark, that's, I mean, and you know what you're doing when it comes to that kind of stuff. You should be on Poshmark. You should be, you should be working that thing, you know. So, and I don't even know about you know the other things you know that that are available out there. Those those are the ones I know about. I mean, what there's something called Grailed, and there's you know Let Go, and and you know Facebook Marketplace, uh, which I don't like. You know, I, I'm not. Lots of people do really well in there. I'm not. I'm not poo pooing it. I'm just for me. It. I don't. I don't. I didn't. Yeah, I don't really like this system. Um. I tried it. I do have a few things cross posted on there, but they haven't sold. So, which it's cool. Um, yeah. Other than that, they, yeah, that's pretty much what I what I wanted to come on and rant about is is somebody poo pooing cross posting when do you know how hard it is to build a brand on another on another platform. I mean, if all you did was sell on eBay and nowhere else. And then eBay boots you for one reason or another, and you don't have a store or something built up in other. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to start all over. You're gonna have to start all over. Whereas if you've got a presence across multiple platforms, you could lose eBay and continue selling on other platforms and and probably do. I I don't I don't want to say just do just as well. You know what I mean? But uh, honestly, I mean. I, I like I said, I'd be in trouble if I was just dependent on eBay right now, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I just had to get off that. I had to get that. I had to get it out. Had to get it off. I uh, had to. I uh, had to say something. I just had to. So, whatever you do, keep listening and keep cross posting. Okay. Good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I think as soon as I can find the off button, there.